I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question based on measurements. We need to find the maximum and minimum speed from the given information. The question here is, a car travels a distance of 55.5 kilometers correct to the nearest 0.5 kilometers. It takes 48.7 minutes correct to one decimal place. Find the lower and the upper bound for the average speed of the car in kilometers per hour correct to one decimal place. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now we are given distance as 55.5 kilometers, right? So we are given distance D as 55.5 kilometers. Now it is correct to 0.5 kilometers. We are saying it is correct to 0 0.5 kilometers. So that means what? That means that it could be plus 50% of this, right? Or minus 50% of this, right? So that gives you two possible values for this distance, right? So we get those two possible values are the lower bound and the upper bound, right? So if you add, then you get the upper bound. So if I add half of this, which is 0 0.25, I get the upper bound, right? And if I subtract 0 0.25, I get the lower bound for the distance traveled. So let's take away 0 0.25. In that case, we get 55.25. And here, when we add 0 0.25, we get 55.75. Both are in kilometers, right? Let's write kilometers, okay. So those are the upper bounds and the lower bounds for the distance. Now let's do the same exercise for time. Time given to us is 48.7 minutes. And accuracy is one decimal place. One decimal place means 0 0.1. Half of this is equals to 0 0.1. 0, 0.5 correct so we have to add and subtract 0 0.05 so if i subtract 0 0.05 i get the lower bound and if i add 0 0.05 i get the upper bound perfect so let's add first we get 48.75 minutes and if i take away it becomes 48.65 minutes. So that becomes the time. Now the idea is to find upper and lower bound of average speed. Now what is speed? Well, let's look into a triangle, right? Or the formula sheet at times. So we have distance, speed and time related. Speed is equal to distance over time. So when we want lower bound and the upper bound of the speed, how do we get the lower bound? And how do we get the upper bound? And we also want it in kilometers per hour. Here, the units are kilometers per minute since the time is in minutes. So remember, we need to convert this to hours, right? Okay, so lower value is when I take lower value of distance and higher value of time, right? So to get the lower value, I have to take the lower value of distance and higher, sorry, uh, let me use another ink. So to get the lower bound, we have to take the lower value of distance, right, with the higher value of time. So you're dividing by a higher value. Okay? Then you get the lower bound. Is that clear to you? Correct. So let's do this calculation. So distance divided by time. So we have this 
lower bound of speed, let's say speed lower bound is equal to distance is 55.25 kilometers and time is 48.75 minutes. So we get 55.25 divided by 48.75 and that gives you 17 over 15 right so let me write down here 17 over 15 however the units are kilometers per minute now what do you need to do you need to get kilometers per hour you don't want minutes here you want hours so one hour is equal to 60 minute correct so we have to do this conversion so let's multiply the answer by 60 right so times 60 is equal to 68 so we get this as equal to 68 kilometers per minute right kilometers per hour since this minute and minute now cancel and the units are kilometers per hour clear now we want correct to one decimal place so i have to introduce decimal zero here this is kind of very important to understand is that clear to you right now you can pause the video and find out what is the upper bound. For the upper bound, we have to use higher value of distance and lower value of time, right? So that is the combination. Okay, so let's figure this out. So speed upper bound will be how much? Higher value is 55.75 kilometers. Lower value of distance uh, time, which is 48.65 minutes. We should convert this to hours, right? So one hour is 60 minutes. And now when we find the answer, we'll get the answer in kilometers per hour. Clear? Since this minute and minute will cancel. So let's do this calculation. So we have 55.7 times 60 divided by 48.65 and that is equal to in decimals it is equal to 68.694 so we'll round to 7 do you see that so that is to one decimal place so the higher value upper bound for the speed is 68.7 kilometers per hour perfect so that is how we are going to do it so we have two answers, the lower bound being 68.0, the upper bound being 68.7 kilometers per hour. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. This is an excellent, very important example from test point of view. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thank you and all the best.